So this was the crossover that no one saw coming, even I didn't when I found it on Twitter. But I'm here for it. Let's talk about it. Two iconic franchises will collide for the first time in Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Usashi Yojimbo, number one, a new one-shot comic book from Boom Studios. Debuting in the 1990s, Power Rangers remains incredibly relevant and popular with several movies, television shows, and comic stories taking place in the action-packed world of superheroes teenagers. The current Darkest Hour event at Boom Studios brings the latest, longest-running series to a close. This summer, with what's coming next for the new era of Power Rangers expected to be announced later this year, likely at this year's San Diego Comic-Con. Meanwhile, the original Pink Ranger Amy Drew Johnson, Matt Huston, and Nico Leon just wrapped up many more of the Power Rangers The Return miniseries. Up next, the Power Rangers go back in time in the iconic comic world of Musashi Yojimbo as the heroes encounter Rabbit Ronin in one of their most exciting and unexpected crossovers yet. Following the fight with Rita Repulsa, the Power Rangers will be sent back to the Edo era of Japan and Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, Usashi Gojimbo by Ryan Parrott, Sean Daly, and James Spinner. In the timeline, they battle to return to their future. Legendary Usashi Gojimbo creator Stan Saki expressed enthusiasm about the one shot. I'm really excited with Usashi's crossover with the Power Rangers, Saki told Looper. This is the first time Usashi has teamed up with the real superheroes that do not have skills. It's a great story with fantastic art. Ryan Perry, who has written several stories in the Power Rangers franchise, including the main line title, calls the crossover with Usashi Ujimbo unexpected, but one that will be incredibly fun that fans of both franchises will enjoy. I think one of the most exciting elements of the comics is the unexpected crossover. So when Boom Studios asked me if I was interested in pairing the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers with Usagi Yojimo, I didn't hesitate, Paris said. I've been a fan of Stan Saki's work and the epic story he's been telling my whole life. So it was a true honor to get to step into that world and play with those characters. Plus, the moment I saw Sean Daly's artwork, I knew this had the potential to be an insanely fun, one-of-a-kind ride that hopefully both Ranger and Samurai fans will enjoy. Luba has the first look at silver covers for Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Usagi Yojimbo cover art featuring the Robert Ronin and the Power Rangers team comes from Stan Saki and Emi Fuji and the legendary artist trademark style. Additionally, stunning virus from Jared Colum, Ronnie Montez, as part of his ongoing helmet series, and Takeshi Mayazawa will also be released on the one shot. Y'all, I'm having so much hard time trying to pronounce these names right, but I'm trying my best, but at least you're getting the information from this. So this is the one I saw on Twitter. And honestly, I'm not the biggest fan of this artwork, even though I appreciate his style, but mm, this looks off to me in my opinion though. But if you like it more power to you though, but I'm just not a fan of it. So that's There's Yusachi with the sword. I like that. And this is the one I saw on Twitter with the power when just standing on top of the house or temple. And this is the rabbit running on the bottom. Some nice artwork of the Rangers. Uh, what the hell is it supposed to be? I guess it's all on Ranger.
So going back to this, I, I'm assuming this has something to do with him becoming a ranger himself. I don't know. It's just I'm just assuming. I do like this cover right here. I like this style better. The color sprite pops out. Tommy with the Ronin. Yeah. So it seems like the Power Rangers for the first time is doing some collaboration with the Ninja Turtles character and. Honestly, this is pretty cool. And I know there's gonna be some people online that are criticizing saying, man, more Mighty Morphin again. Like, ew, why are you collaborating with Power Rangers? Like, they suck. Like, those type of toxic people that I've seen on Twitter, and some are saying that the Samurai Rangers should have been crossing over with this cat. When you think about it, it kind of makes sense though, but you know Mighty Morphin is a no martial arts team, so what you expect but there's no way in the world that you're gonna tell me that the Sheba clan could end up showing up in this special because number one the American team was given a Japanese last name it's just French as hell and I don't like it one bit so it makes sense for them to actually just use many more power just because that's what the public knows and remembers if you try to create an original team it's not gonna go well with people though but I'm just saying so yeah Shout out to Boom Studios. I can't wait to see what they have in store for us. Let me know in the comments down below when we see our first preview of the issue.